Bestie, what's good? We're back with B First. I apologize for keeping you guys waiting, but we're finally back with B First because they just released a video called Gifted Orchestra Version. And after looking into it, it looks like this was their debut album. Maybe the debut song. I'm, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong on that one. But it looks like they made a special video for this. And I thought it'd be a good opportunity to check this out. So we're gonna be checking out Gifted, the music video, dance practice, and the orchestra version all in one video. If you guys like the video, please leave a like and subscribe before you go if you want more B First videos. All that said, let's get into the video. This is B First with Gifted. Hi everyone. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sean. I've been acting and dancing professionally for over 10 years now. I'm trained in choreography and freestyle, but also I just love global idol music. So hopefully I can give you a fresh perspective on the videos we're about to watch. You'll likely get dance analysis with a side of awe and admiration for the talent idols are able to present. We have a Patreon in the description below where you can get access to over 500 exclusive reactions, including albums, live stages, variety content, dramas, idol shows, and I have so many more ideas to expand beyond that. If you like what I do here and you're able to financially support me in my journey as an artist, feel free to check it out for yourselves. I'm always reading messages and requests over there and it's a great community. And of course, it's all optional. If you want to support on this channel alone, leave a like, subscribe, and comment what you guys thought below. All that said, let's get into the video. We'll start, of course, with the music video. I'm not going to know the members, but I remember really liking Shota, and Shota stands out with his dance. So I may recognize him, but the rest of them, it's going to it's gonna be another couple of videos before I, I am confident to say that I know all the members, okay? So... Let's get into it, guys. Help me out with the names in the comments below if you would like, okay? Let's get into it. Three, two, one. Boom. No shoes, no socks. Let's go. Let's get I was not expecting this sound. What's this chorus gonna be like? Whoa! Yo! It's got like contemporary elements. And here's the hip hop, let's go. Oh, this is my style for sure. This pre-course is really beautiful. Mm. Oh, it's such a good chorus. I didn't, they were technically trained as well in like contemporary and ballet, it seems. Oh, 
Oh, this is such a great song. Vocals. Nice, the popping coming out there. My man, the blonde, yo, hey, he went crazy on that jump. Wow. That's great. That is completely unexpected, guys. Especially from what we heard with mainstream, I was not expecting this sound. But I'm really happy. I'm really... I'm pleased with it a lot. I think this is a gorgeous music video for a debut. I don't know what kind of budget they had going into it, but I thought it was 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 really well shot. And the song took me off. Yeah, like I said, it took me by surprise, but I they can do both styles really well. And we're gonna get to check it check out the dance now. I saw the popping coming out in the end, but we saw some like lyrical, contemporary, maybe ballet moments as well. So I was really I was I like this. I like this a lot. Song wise, like I really enjoy the sound. Let's get into the dance practice and see what, what they're gonna give us with that. But yeah, I really liked it. Initiation of the moves. Ooh, formation changes. Very conceptual, nice wave in. Oh, very precise with the footwork there. Oh, 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 who's this guy? Who's this guy with the beanie, bro? If it's not Shota, it's another crazy dancer, though. I'll, I'll say that. He he has a lot of really good moments. I, I'm noticing him already. That moment, right there. I really like that. I don't know. Something. I think it's it's the initiation. Hand is also perfect there. Super precise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, the hand with the yellow. Oh, that looks great. Oh. Yeah. Okay, before we get into the second verse, man, I'm really enjoying this. I think um, it's so conceptual. I love, they're so good with their initiation. Uh, as somebody who prefers more of a popping style myself, <laughs> I definitely get my fix with this one. Like the little moments like that, like just to start off the, the combo and everything. I really, you, it's so impactful. Uh, so they're utilizing that really well, especially in a song like this, where it's very minimalistic in the instrumental and everything. I think it's really cool what they emphasize with the their movement and uh lots of little like moments that like to like easter eggs as as, as some of you guys would would call it i think it's really cool uh definitely requires like multiple watch throughs i like this chorus too little dime stops there and the way that they get to this lower level, this lower plane, I think that's really solid and looks great. The placement of the hand being like... Boom, boom, boom. Almost a bit of like a whacking move there, just like with the hands, like the way that it rotates. I think it's cool. It's probably uh, rooted in, in tutting as well, just like with all the actual placements of the hand. I feel like they're implementing a lot of that as well. But, yeah, I don't know the name, but this guy in the center, very nice. 
The way that they like control every part of their body looks really sick too. I like the dramatic kind of like stabbing effect there. Uh, that looks really nice. Again, fits with the concept well. I think in the music you can kind of hear it too. It kind of goes it's like really subtle. I, I, maybe I'm just making the sounds in my head because they make it they make their movement sound like I don't know, man. Maybe I'm I feel like they are hitting it though. I think it might just be a little bit of I like the twisting on the heels here. It gives me a bit of light beat. Whoa, yeah, guy in the center is killing it too, man. Uh, I just like his his choices, his isolation and everything. Um, super loose and super like... I don't know, he just like has a really good control. Oh, everyone's choices there in the poses really make that picture look nice. Oh, I think we... I think we found our guy right there. I think we found our guy right there. Oh yeah, I mean he's yeah he's he's going off he's going off for sure, bro. <laughs> you can just feel it the way he's moving. Oh my god, his like animation, his animation is popping and everything just looks so good. He hit the da 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 like oh my gosh. Oh, so short. I want I want to see more from him. We'll hopefully get him in later too. Short but impactful. Ah, hops into those diagonal lines. Yeah, he just moves like his own entity. Yeah, I'm really liking Great Beanie Guy as well. Ooh, the hops? Great utilization of formations as well. Yes. Uh, it's really satisfying the pictures they create. Every like moment has its own shine. Bro! Oh! You know, it's crazy. True, we got an outro. We'll go back. We'll go back. Oh, I need to check out this group more. I need to check out this group more. Okay. Yeah. This man here. I'm assuming this is Shota because he was the one who stood out to me in the last one with the popping. But if it's not, then man, we got another crazy dancer up in here too. But um He's so good because I was like wondering, I'm like, hmm, where, where is this guy? Where is this guy? And then he shows up in the center and it's like, there he freaking is, bro. He just like knows how to make the center his own, but he blends in well. He blends in well. He doesn't take away from the other dancers, which is so important. You can't just go crazy, especially when you're in a group setting. He could just like, you know, add his flavor. He adds his flavor to the movement regardless. Cause like, I think if you watch him, just watch him. Like he, he has like a very like, specific way of moving 
Um, if you guys listen to K-pop as well, it, it kind of reminds me of how like Taeyong is able to balance his um, kind of like quirky, unique style uh, to match with the group. But when it's his time to shine, when he has a bit of a solo moment or if he's in the center, that's when he makes his presence like really known. But that's such a good team player when you're able to dance, uh, you know, while not taking away from other people. Very important in a group. So let's just go back. Good angles and everything. Like I'm, I'm watching it with my peripherals, and I'm like, yeah, I see what they're trying to create. Like even the way he hops in there, so much impact. Great. That's gonna look so good on a live stage, just like twisting the camera. Oh, bro, like the way he, like everyone does the move, but because he's in the center, he's able to kind of like make that a unique choice. You know, it's not. He can take like a skeleton of a choreography and like make it his own. See how he's not fully extending his arms like everybody else? Because he's in the center. He wants to like almost like, you know, let them kind of do the the full extension and then he kind of like can make the almost like make his own like orb of of I don't know creativity. <laughs> Man going like this dude. Great back and forth groups from everyone. Oh. So impressive. So impressive. It's always nice when you have a group that's just like so like trained in fundamentals and so trained in, in foundations, man because they can really make these kind of choreographies come alive. What I notice a lot in this choreography is that there's a lot of little intricate details and moments that the the normal eye, like, you know, like a normal, like just person watching with no experience in dance or anything, you could easily miss these details because they, they're so, they're so fast. But this group does a really good job of still not shortcutting those moves and making those moments stick out like, you know, the way the choreography is meant to. So I think really good utilization of these small intricate moments with the bigger, more grand scale stuff like this dance break moment. And everyone it was able to just really execute this choreo choreography well. I have no complaints. Uh, I thought it was really good. So yeah, we'll have to check out more from B first. But to finish off the video, something more recent, let's check out the orchestra version. Let's go, leave a like. Nine days ago, 2 million views. Shout out to the besties for getting those views. Listen to headphones, okay? Or listen with headphones, not listen to headphones. Let's go. I love orchestra. I love just the, I don't know, man. Oh, and we get a performance as well. Are we we're singing? And their vocals. Oh, he's got like a darkness to the way he performs. I like it. Oh, we do get, yeah, we do get the performance here. With the mics, too. I 
I'm sorry to pause it. I have to say this before I forget, but like their ability to, for one thing, the fact that like they're so technically trained in found, f- fundamentals and foundations and everything, I think a lot of those kind of groups do get uh, caught up in the foundations and they, they are, they're really, it's hard for them to perform like an idol would, if you guys know what I mean, right? They, they perform more like a crew. But these guys are able to still express themselves the way the music intends. With a more dramatic song like this, this is where you can really tell like who is able to not just dance, but like express emotions and, and tell a story. So really strong performance and vocals sound great. And I'm see I'm looking at their faces and they're really like selling this song. So shout out. Oh, I like the way he just like commands that stage. His vocal fry sounds great too. This guy is like a model, bro. The way they just like slide across the stage. It's crazy how he can. You wouldn't expect him to have this higher tone voice. Yeah. Yeah. That it just it hits you guys if you guys are familiar with the channel you know I love this kind of this kind of um song that it's just so like emotional and so dramatic and again uh I mean I'm not surprised but like at the same time um Shota the way he's able to express himself through express him because like I can see that he's probably trained in crump as well which Crump is a, is like one of the most like expressive and emotional kind of uh, style uh, uh, style. So um, I'm not surprised that he's able to. But I feel like he's he's pretty young, right? So like I don't know, man. Sometimes like I feel like you need like the life experience to be able to bring out these emotions. But he's doing such a great job at such a young age. Um, I think, right? I'll have to I'll check that out right after this. But man, he freaking killed that. They all are so strong, man. They told the story. That they wanted to and uh i really appreciate it so man be first okay this is definitely gonna push me to react to more be first so stay tuned guys leave a like subscribe if you guys enjoy and let me know all your thoughts in the comments below let's i just want to see their profiles again was it real hey with the short hair in this one the only reason i'm able to is just because his hair is so distinct in this in this era but he had a really cool high voice that I wasn't expecting. Uh, Junan, okay, main vocalist. Junan, okay, and Leo, Leo was the yeah he was the vocalist I was saying that was like he looks like a model. <laughs> uh, real real key real key. He's a dancer as well. I'm not surprised, but he's got a great voice and he raps. Uh, Sota was I calling him Shota? I apologize. Sota and then Manato and Shunto. And Ryuhei is, okay, he's the youngest. How old is Sota? 2001, yeah, so pretty young. I guess not anymore. 2001 is actually like 
23 now. But either way, man, uh, very impressive from everybody, I gotta say. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.